Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you guys with eight hairstyles and I'm starting the video off with style number one. It's just two cornrows like so and then I just put them in little buns at the bottom. I love this style because it's super quick and it is cute. And then of course the style number two is just wearing them out and about. I'll show you guys how I get my locks curly but that'll be a separate video. Um, but for style number three, we're just going to basically put your hair in an up ponytail like so. And I typically keep my front out because one, I like to protect my edges. I don't like to put them up in um, high ponytails just because of the tension, but I also like the way it looks as well. So I usually keep about three to four on each side because I have a middle part. And then I put my hair in a ponytail like so. And I have like the extra stretchy elastic bands for my hair so that, um, you know, now that my locks are getting longer and a little bit thicker, they're getting harder to use. But pretty much you're just going to put in a ponytail. I like to wrap all of my hair in one direction as you've seen right there. And then I take another tight little hair band and I just place that around the bun and it'll keep it secure. Now if you have any of those hairs that pop out, that's fine because the hairs that I leave in the back, I usually leave them out because one, if you don't have the thicker rubber bands, my hair usually doesn't fit all in the smaller one that you just seen. So I'll put that up separately, but then sometimes I just like the ends to just kind of be out. So I'll just let those be straggly. But for this reason, it was just because I couldn't find my really thick elastic band at that moment. So I had to use a lot of elastics just because I'm getting to the phase now where I'm popping elastic bands. So I had to buy some thick ones, which I will be showing you later on in this video. But basically, I realized I had left out too many um, in the front, so I'm just tucking them in with the elastic band. And pretty much this is just my sloppy um, ninja bun, and by sloppy I mean it's very much just an easy style. You guys see me in this style all the time. I love this style. So this is style number three. Okay. Now you guys, this is like my second favorite style ever that I do. You guys see me in this style a lot. All I'm doing is just putting my hair in two ponytails like so. Again, I usually leave out the two or three locks in the front. I usually leave them down, but every now and then I'll put all of them in the bun, but it's up to you if you wanna to choose to put them in the bun or not. But just put your hair in two ponytails like so. And then now you're gonna do the bun the exact same way that I showed you before. You're just gonna wrap in the same direction. And then you're just going to take an elastic band to secure that bun down. And any stragglies that you have, you could either use a bobby pin, a net, or another elastic to hold it in place. But I find that honestly the elastics work really well. And every now and then, if I'm lazy or don't have any more elastics by me, I'll just use a bobby pin and I'll just pin it in. But as you can see, Super easy, super secure. And this is style number four. You guys, I love this style. I wear it very often. You guys know I love my little buns so much.
these are the thick lock bands that I'm talking about and I will add that to my Amazon store for anybody whose locks are getting thicker and they can't you know hold anymore with the smaller elastics I'll add that in my Amazon shop so that you guys can get those I ended up finding where I put them but basically they hold all my locks and they don't break so I just put my hair in a nice messy bun I love messy buns as you guys can see um, and then I just leave the front out because usually it's um, crinkly or curly in the front so that is style number five now, I'm not world's best braider, but I do what I need to do in order for me to be okay with my hair. So, you know, there's some better braiders than me, but I still wear a lot of cornrow styles just because it's fine and I like it. So, I pretty much just put two cornrows on my head. I use my side part as my, um, you know, to switch it up so that it's not just two braids with a middle part. I just braid them all the way down like so, and typically they're neater than this, but for video purposes, your girl has somewhere to be, so I was rushing. But yeah, just put your hair in two cornrows, however you want, a side part, middle part, whatever you want to do, and yeah. Then I just again put my hair in two little buns like so and it's such a cute style and it's really good for going to sleep or keeping your hair kind of crinkly or curly. So typically if my hair is really curly I'll put one of these styles in just to keep my hair wavy. So the next style I'm just going to put up my hair again in a ponytail. And this time I'll be using the thicker elastic band that I showed you because that one is able to hold all my locks without popping. So um, I'm glad I was able to show you guys both of them because if not I have to split my locks up. But anyways, so you put your hair in a ponytail, use the thick band, and I don't even have to tie this in multiple directions because it just holds all my hair and I'll be showing you guys that. And you can see it holds all my hair and it keeps it on top of my head like a pineapple like I like but anyways this time I'm splitting my hair up in two sections and then just literally going in the same direction how I showed you with all my other buns and um, I don't really go for a really neat look but again if you want that you could put a net over your hair or you could use bobby pins but now I'm taking the smaller elastics and just applying that over the bun to hold it in place and then for all the stragglies like so um, you could either tuck them or use another elastic like I'm doing and putting that over your bun and it'll hold them down any other stragglies you could easily just use a bobby pin like the one that's sticking out right there yeah there's always always that rebellious one <laughs> I'm just using a bobby pin just to pin that down Then for this final look, I'm adding my matching headband. If you guys want to see how I make my matching headbands to my shirts, I'll leave that link in one of these corners as well as in the description box below. I'm forever cutting up my clothes, so I'll show you guys how I make this um, headband. And that's it. This is style number eight. These are my favorite hairstyles that I do so often. And I'm sorry this video took so long, but I got another style video coming for you, so stay tuned. Alright my love, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me showing you my signature styles with my locks that I do. Hopefully everything was in camera because I just don't know, okay? So I got some new lighting, so I hope that's okay as well. I'm still trying to get used to it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at I am Linda Elaine, Snapchat at your Mexican Beauty. If you on Facebook, follow me on I am do I know my name? Do I? Yes. Okay. But if you're on Facebook, follow me at I am Lindy Elaine as well. And I hope you lovelies have a beautiful day or night, whatever time it is. And I hope to see you guys later. Deuces. I have food in my teeth. <laughs> but I need to eat. I got seaweed in my teeth. Okay, that's from earlier. Don't judge me if you see it.
Bye!